Besides asking you for the electron configuration, I could ask you a question on an exam such as, what is a possible set of four quantum numbers for the last electron that you added to the thallium orbital diagram? So this is the last electron. If you look at the orbital it's in, it's found in a 6p orbital, one of the three 6p orbitals. Remember 6p, that's the subshell. And the 6 part of the 6p subshell comes from the quantum number n being 6. The p part of this, a p orbital, always goes along with the quantum number L is equal to 1. Remember, L is 0, stands for S, L is 1 is P, 2 is D, and 3 is F. So even though there are many possibilities for L when N is 6, the only one that matches the 6P is L has to be equal to 1. The quantum number M sub L is the only one where you could have a possible choice in a question like this. Because if L is 1, there are three possibilities. One possibility is negative 1. Someone else could have chosen 0, or you could have chosen positive 1. You can't write down all three answers, so negative 1, 0, and positive 1 would be incorrect. You have to choose one possible quantum number, so any of those three would work. The last quantum number is the spin, and you determine that by whether the electron is up or down. This electron is up, so the spin value is assigned to be positive one-half.